it's Megan and today I'm going to be showing you how I list my items. I am only going to be listing two items. I picked two different items. I picked a top and a pair of shorts. Um, but I, like I said in my last video, I think I want to do one of these once a week and just list two items with you guys so you can see my process. So uh, on the screen, I'll put on the screen a picture of the first item I'm going to list. It's um, this exhilaration lace little crocheted top. So what I start out with is I go on eBay and I pretty much type in exhilaration like long sleeve or just something specific to the top, maybe exhilaration lace or um, long sleeve top. And so the reason I like to do this is because when I find a similar listing like this one, for example, um, they don't have caps, which is nice, and they have some of the similar keywords I'm going to use, so that saves me time in having to write out some of the keywords. So that is why I do this, and I just click sell now. And I don't spend a lot of time um, researching, and the only reason I don't really look up things anymore is just because I kind of know what price point I'm selling things at and I kind of know with running sales what price I'm going to get things at so and I also just don't spend a lot of time on price to begin with just because you know you never know how high or how low something will sell for so it's all tech kind of is a gamble on whether your item is going to sell start with the title and so I'm going to put ivory lace top shirt, long sleeve. Um, I always put boho cute lace crochet detail. Sometimes I'll add festival. Oh, I ran out of lettering. Um, yeah, that's fine. Detail, and then I'll put size SP, and that is the size. So next I'll put in my store category, and I'll have tops and blouses. Um, I have a store category for um, my top four brands, and then I have one for children's clothing, bras, dresses. Um, these are the brands. Uh, Anthropology, Free People, Lucky Brand, and Urban Outfitters, Jackets, Blazers, Rompers, etc. So, and for UPC, I always click Does Not Apply. I always put Pre Owned, and I usually put No Holes, Stains, or Flaws. And I usually copy and paste this so I can just click Command V and it'll be there and it makes it go by a lot faster as if it's already filled in. So I do that. Then down to the item specifics, I'll change the size, make sure the sizing's right. Color, uh, long sleeve. I never put occasion. Um, sometimes I'll put pattern. Um, with material, um, sometimes I put it in, but most of the time I don't because I feel like it's not that specific enough because it'll say either cotton blend or polyester blend. So I usually don't put it in. Um, the only reason I do that is because I like to take a picture of the fabric tag because I feel like that's more specific. So that is usually what I do. You don't have to do that. Um, it just, for me, saves a lot of time. I'd rather take, like, you know, a five second picture than wasting time um, putting only part of the fabric when most people want to know the complete um, fabric. Alright, so moving on to item description, I have some templates and that I'll show you guys. I'll go through each one. So I have the, mo the main one that I use all the time is women's clothing and that's what I'm going to be using for this one as well. So as you can see, all I have to put in is the two numbers for the bust and the length, which is armpit to armpit, and then the length from the shoulder seam to the bottom hem of the top. 
and I basically just say excellent condition, smoke and pet free home, ships on one day of payment, and thank you for looking at my items. So the bust for this is 20 inches and the length is 27 inches. Now I'll show you guys my other ones. The only difference between the bottom, it would be waist instead of bust. And with shoes, I don't have any measurements. Um, so shoes is just what I use for other items and it pops up and it doesn't have any measurements. And like I said, it goes really fast when I just click the like click this and it all shows up for me and I'm just filling in um, two numbers. And then men's, um, it says chest and length instead of bust and I also like take out the flowers um, for men's clothing. So that is the only difference and I only have four to make it pretty simple and these are all I ever really use. Now down to pricing, um, I'll probably price this at like $18.99. Um, I do pretty much run sales almost like immediately or like the next day. And I do accept returns. I'm not sure why it's defaulting that way. 30 days and I do charge a 15% restocking fee. Hmm. I don't know why all my settings are messed up, but um, I do cost, cost varies by location, first class, and this is usually already on the right um, setting, so usually I don't spend time doing this, but for some reason my settings are a little messed up, um, but usually once I do a couple listings, it saves the right settings that I like, so I don't have to do this. So yeah, cost varies by location, first class, one business day, and then I usually put everything at four to five ounces, so that charges them about two eighty to three dollars in shipping. And I click save and continue, and then I'll go into my phone and take the pictures from the eBay app. I don't take pictures and then upload them because that is more time consuming to upload them than going back and deleting them. I also don't have a lot of memory in my phone, so that is the reason that I choose to just take the pictures through the app and immediately make them a live listing. So now I'm going to list the next thing, which is this pair of Levi uh, Distressed Denim Shorts. They are high-waisted. So Levi high waist denim shorts. All right, so I'll just pick the first one. Actually, maybe the one that has distressing. Here we go. All right, and I'll just click sell now again. And I usually always like the brand to be the first word in the title. Mm, cut off high waist jean, jean shorts. I'll put medium wash medium wash, size 28, Oops. and then I'll put them into my shorts category, and categories are really important, especially if you have a lot of items in your store, especially over like two, 300 items in your store. It's what makes your store shoppable, and it's also a lot better if you have repeat customers to shop your store. It is hard to sort through a store when everything is in one category, especially when you have hundreds of items. And click does not apply, pre-owned, copy and pasting the same condition description, which is command V, no hole stains or flaws, and usually 
the front style is flat, then brand name's already there, denim, 28, the rise is high waist, um, I'll just put solid, and now I'll click on bottoms, and it just pops up again, and the measurements are 14, 14. And these I'll probably price at $21.99. Again, I'll probably put them on a sale. Thirty days, fifteen percent restocking fee. I really hope this goes back to normal because this is honest. This is pretty annoying if it doesn't go back to your normal settings, but it's not a big deal. And then I usually just put four or five ounces. And that's a good average for me. Um, most of my items are between like four to eight ounces. So, and that is it. Again, I go through the eBay app and I'll go to my phone into my drafts and I'll take the pictures. I usually take about seven to eight pictures. I take, um, like two from different angles and then some close-up ones and the, of course the tag and then the fabric tag so I hope you guys found this video helpful and I look forward to talking to you guys in my next one